most folks are talking about this lipsticky, irisy accord that they get with this one. I'm not getting that. Hello. What's going on, YouTube? And welcome back, Uncommon Sense fam. Of course, it's your man's here, Uncommon Sense. And we're coming at you today with a fragrance that is not so uncommon. I've been hearing a lot of hype about it. We pulled in Dior Own. Fellas and Fredcom usually always have great things to say about Dior Own. And I figured, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to see what's to it, right? All right. Hop on in, relax. Put on your seatbelt. Be safe. Y'all know why y'all came here. We about to get into this thing. Let's go. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my, that's my way. Disclaimer, I wasn't excited about this fragrance. One, because I felt it was too mainstream, too popular, too talked about, and my zeal for it was just not there. Dior fragrances usually are on point. And let's go ahead and give it a spray. Let's talk about the detectable notes. Dior own, for the folks that have not smelled Dior own. Now the first spray, and this is where I get something really <coughs> sharp and a little bitter. I get either floral in the beginning. Yes! I don't care for it too much. I don't know which floral that is. It kind of comes up just a bit stale. <coughs> Borderline almost make me feel like I have to sneeze. So that's interesting. And usually ginger kind of at the back of back and top of my throat is a little scratchy filler when I smell ginger. What I can say, off the rip, I'm glad I didn't blind buy or get a big bottle. Most folks are talking about this lipsticky, irisy accord that they get with this one for fall. And I'm not getting that. I get a sharp kind of ginger type of fragrance. And to be quite honest with you guys, I'm still not excited to move. So... You know, I'm kind of used to being the weird one in a way where everybody says a fragrance smells great, I get it, and I'm not wild. Or, oh, it lasts 10, 15 hours on me, I get it, and it lasts none. Right now, I'm getting something kind of hay like. So maybe vetiver is in there. Yeah! There's something very dry about the fragrance. I hope this evolves into something a little bit. Or a little bit more. Because at this particular point in time, I'm not even remotely in like with it. It's meh to me. I'm hoping that's just not the salt and sugar. <laughs> I don't know. It could be just that I just was not with the hype anyway. So coming into it, it's like, that's it. That's all you got. The opening on it, I don't particularly care for. And I'm noticing that fragrances that I I don't care for a lot of the openings on certain fragrances. Or if I do like them, they don't last long. Funny how that works, right? Love <laughs> you. Okay, it's getting better. That kind of dusty, dark sharpness is still present. 
But I get something a smidge fresh right now. Nothing sweet per se. So I'm interested to see how this one is on the dry down and in the mid. I sprayed it across my body this morning, maybe about 10 sprays. From what I can tell right now, either this is a fragrance that will sit on your skin and others will be able to smell more than you, or it's not a monster projector. So let's get into presentation. The presentation on the fragrance, I actually like that big blocky glass bottle with the plexiglass or carbon, polycarbonate top. I actually like that with the stem in the middle that kind of looks like a straw. I like the presentation. It has that kind of classic gentlemanly masculine aesthetic square blocky I can rock with that price in my experience it's a little pricey I've seen this one not necessarily heavily discounted it has a cult following it has a following that will uphold the price that it, they're charging to be honest performance on this one I think this was gonna sit closer to the skin I think it's a little bit more of a romantic fragrance it's one of those ones that you kind of got to get up on and get into it's sexy quote-unquote it's mysterious it's alluring it's TDH tall dark and handsome that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this one play no compliments yet of course on the way to the office, I don't encounter many people one because I'm driving and doing ride along with some of my favorite people. But also, too, even in the office, I don't encounter many people because we're on skeleton crew for the most part. I told my team I'll stand in the gap and actually go in on Wednesdays, and they don't have to. And I try to limit my content. I've not tried it. The atomizer kind of looks like one of the ones you pump lotion out of. I don't know if it's the Christian Dior atomizer with that compressed spray that shh, the one that kind of hoses you down and gets you to get you wet. It's probably inappropriate. The one that holds you down and gets you fully saturated. <laughs> get you fully saturated with the fragrance. The spices are kind of coming through a bit more now. I want to say like ginger and cinnamon. No! I see this being applicable to fall, like right now. Yes! But it's a fresh spicy for fall. I can't detect too many notes other than something floral in the opening. Something also a little dark and dusty yes! and dry. I will say this, I can't tell that this is a multifaceted fragrance. I don't get linear, one trick pony. I don't get a cheap vibe from it at all. Partially because Dior is a pricey designer. So I'll say that. So true to the name. It's, it's so interesting. Every time I go to get a whiff of it, I feel like I need to clear my throat. And back up off of it. But, even I sprayed it on earlier, I don't smell it on my skin, which is so interesting. I'm gonna give myself a few hits. Is it a cop or drop? Right now, for me, it's a complete drop. It's not one I have to have. Oh, the lift in the bridges. I've tried it on several occasions, but today's the first full wearing. It's been your man, Uncommon Sense, and we'll be back with a recap. Stay tuned. small update. The Dior own fragrance actually forms 
pretty nicely. And it smells a lot better once it's settled down, so I like it in the base. It's still a little something a little spicy about it, but I do like it when I'm smelling like coming off of, out of my shirt and off my skin. So I actually do like it. I honestly think I do have stuff in my collection though. I still haven't ruled if it's a cop or a drop fully. Let's get ready to get loud because I'm right by the L, right? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to give you guys an update on that because it's probably going to be dark when I get off. I just want to keep it continuous and keep some continuity going. See you. Dior actually does what Dior does well. Signature Dior DNA. And I see why people came for it. I just don't know if I necessarily need it in my collection. A full bottle at least. I'm going to either enjoy the sample or I'm going to gift it. But it's not a complete waste of time. I still think it's a bit overhyped. And in this one specifically, I don't believe I necessarily get that iris or that lipsticky makeup y thing that people are talking about. But I do understand that this is not the Dior Home Intense. And I think that's the one everybody like really, really is on top of. So let's run it down. Price. I'm gonna give it a seven on price. I think it's a little pricey as a designer fragrance. My opinion, projection. It projects moderately, maybe about one and a half feet performance. About six and a half hours in, I can still experience the fragrance. I can still smell it coming off of my skin, even under clothes. I'm actually gonna rate it an eight in performance. Projection. I'm gonna rate it a seven and a half in projection. Play, no compliments, but I actually enjoy this fragrance on my skin, so I'm gonna rate it about an eight. Presentation, I actually enjoy that kind of square, statuesque, architectural type of presentation. I'm gonna rate it an eight and a half there. Is it a copper drop? For me, right now, it's a drop. I actually have fragrances that smell like this in my collection. I will remand my comments that I made earlier about the fragrance being just like super duper overrated. I do think it's overhyped. I don't think it's overrated because that's a big difference. I see why individuals Rude. I see why individuals actually like the fragrance because it does smell good and it has that classic Dior DNA. But I do believe it's a bit overhyped. And I think the one everybody really is digging on is the Dior Home Intense. So we may have to check that one out just to make sure I'm not missing nothing because you know I can be a little stubborn and against the grain and turn around and maybe missing something. So we got to check that out. Well, I think that's all I got for now. And I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, top, sides, all the way around. And I'll be back at you guys soon. I'm out. Till next time.